Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of World of Warships. I'm actually starting off in a tier 3 and I'll move on to tier 4s after that. But I'm in like the worst ship that I've... Well, let me rephrase that. The most difficult ship for me to operate is actually this one right here. I've had such a, um, a problem making uh, this ship work for me because it's a cruiser but it operates very similar to a destroyer. So it's kind of a hybrid. It's the beginning of the hybrid ships. And I'm still just trying to get used to it, trying to figure out how to make it work. And it's kind of difficult. I haven't really had much luck with it. I've kind of just ground out the, uh, the, the ship so far. And I'm almost done with it. I'm like one or two battles away from wrapping it up. But I've just had such a tough time trying to make it work for me that I don't know if it's my play style or if it's just I'm having a little bit of bad luck in terms of trying to figure out how it should work. And just a combination of different things. Just not, you know, going how you'd want it to. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like I just can't seem to find my niche in this thing. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that or, you know, that there is like the one way that this should operate or should always do this or the other thing. But just not exactly operating how I would like it to operate. Or I'm having trouble learning how I should be using it. But, yeah, not that big of a deal. If that's the biggest problem I have, one ship, then you know what? So be it. <laughs> I was just going to say... There could be much worse things than having to just try and learn this ship. But, meh, we'll we'll see what we can do here over time. Now, what I need to do is slow the hell down. Because it seems that every time I get myself way out here in, like, the lead, I always get myself killed really quickly. So I need to kind of wait up for the rest of my ships to get here. If nothing else, maybe even, like, turn around. Start thinking about not going this direction. Oh, hit him. Beautiful. Alright, let's see if any of those hit them. Come on. Did hit him. Nice. Alright, so now we're starting to see all this stuff come in. Let's start to turn around now. Uh, there's no way that's going to hit. Oh, those did hit. Alright, so we'll just drop those. Switch back to these shells. Uh, those might hit, they might not. We'll find out here momentarily. Oh, they did. Sweet. Okay, so we'll just keep bombarding this guy while we uh, keep running. Oh, a whole one shell. Really? You jerk. Alright, so we need to keep turning. He is now out of our range. We do have torpedo bombers coming in, though. So we need to be cautious of those. I'm not, not exactly worried about them yet, but it's something to be cognizant of. So that guy's up that way. Can't hit him. Got these guys here. Alright, got a destroyer right here. Need to probably switch to HE for him. So we'll switch back to HE. See all those torpedoes there. Alright, they're all going to cruise right past that battleship. So we're good there. Alright, they actually have a lot of people in the cap. So that's really, 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 really not good. Alright, so let's just drop a shell randomly. Hopefully I hit somebody, but man, you want to talk about not going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot. That's going to be us here momentarily. We're about to actually lose this one if we don't get... Oh uh, no, I'm not going to be able to get into cap if I'm not careful enough. We just need somebody to get into cap. Anybody, please. Alright, so we got one destroyer in the south. He's in cap. Now we just need to get uh, a few more in here. Now the one destroyer just got killed, I think. Well... We're making it work. Right, I don't know if those are going to hit at all. Those might be way, 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 way too far off. Yep. Alright, so we'll just launch that one. Oof. Going to dodge these. Beautiful. Got a bunch of these guys right here. Alright. Put some shells out. Miss. There we go. Try and just... There we go, that's what I needed was that. There we go, drop that. We'll just put a few torpedoes out here. Alright, and then we'll see if we can't just hit somebody miscellaneously by just chucking torpedoes in their general direction like that. Alright, so the rest of this though, it's all going to be uh, kind, of, kind of luck if I were to hit anybody. Oh, so close. 
Actually, if I can hit this guy and take him out, that'll be fantastic. He's down. Excellent. He is... Oh, he just got rocked. Well, we just turned this one around completely, to be honest with you. I didn't think we were going to get this one at all. Now I got this guy dead ahead of me, though. So he's going to be a bit of a pain. We'll switch to AP until we can get close. Alright, so that one just missed. Alright, I should dodge. Whoa. Hi. I was not aware that you were going to be right here. Alright, so let's get a few guns lined up on you. Alright. There we go. Now we can start doing that. There we go. Good hit there. Throw some of these torpedoes out here. Like that. Man, I'm not doing like any torpedo hits. This is all just like straight gunfire damage that I've been doing. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. At this rate, he might actually turn into it more than anything. There we go. Beautiful hits. Come on, get a good hit. Oh, he's almost done. Those torpedoes now are not going to hit him. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't kill him. Come on, one of my torpedoes. Nope, but I took him out with the gun. Beautiful. Alright, so all that's left is a carrier who... I wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Where did I start? I think I started on the side that I'm looking at right now, actually. Alright, so we need to spin all the way around. He's probably way off in this corner. So for me to get over there is not going to happen. Like, there's almost no way. Now, I didn't... I didn't get any torpedo hits, but I mean, they were out there more or less just to uh, be annoying. All my damage was through guns, which, eh, I could say that I could have done a lot better, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, again, this is one of those ships where I just have not found out how to make it work out well for myself. And, um, we'll, hell, we'll get out of this ship. Maybe the next Japanese uh, cruiser will be a little bit better for me. I don't know. I'm not 100%. Not really sure on what it's like, if it's very similar to this or not. But when you start to get into these hybrids, I'm really not sure of if I should be using guns, if I should be using torpedoes. I always want to use torpedoes because they're just that much better. But I just feel as though I have better options elsewhere. You know, I should be using the guns. Because, I mean, the St. Louis is like, you need to be using your guns, you need to be miles and miles away and be using long-range weaponry. Whereas, um, some of the other ones, though, you start to get close in, you're like, hey, I can use torpedoes. I can almost be a destroyer. It's not as fast. But then you get nailed by the torpedoes from the destroyer and you get blown up. So it's one of those things where you're just trying to figure it out. But yeah, that should uh, clear the ship out of my inventory, though. So let's go ahead and bounce into another battle here. We'll actually move on to a carrier battle. And uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a little experience and taste of that. Battle starts. All right, so this is a carrier. You have a really different view of things than what you normally would. Oh, I shouldn't go in this mode real quick. And kind of do that to set up my uh, my plans. Actually, you know what? Let's do that, 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 that. Alright, so you go into this like bird's eye view mode and you can launch your aircraft to do different sorts of things. Now, I want to basically take out these battleships more than anything else. So, now you start off typically with one fighter and one bomber, and then you can upgrade to have either two fighters and one bomber, or two bombers and one fighter, like what I have right now. And you can then assign them with the 2, 3, and 4 key, giving them waypoints to go to, and then once they launch, you can tell them where to go, where to attack, etc, etc. So it's a whole little uh, thing that I'll demo as we go here, kind of easier for me to explain as I go. So I can send out my bombers like so, my torpedo bombers, and I can tell them to attack and they'll drop in torpedoes on like a certain vector with an attempt to hit the ships and whatnot. Now, one thing I've noticed is it's actually really, really, really easy to avoid the uh, the fighter bomb, or yeah, the, uh, the torpedo ships, their uh, torpedoes. It's actually a lot easier than what you'd normally think and kind of uh, makes it a little difficult to use. I've actually gotten pretty good at hitting uh, people with my aircraft, or my other fighters with my aircraft a lot better than I have it actually torpedoing anything. But, I mean, hey, there's different reasons for that and whatnot else. So we're actually going to send these guys up here so I can come in at different angles. 
All right, so you need to get back out of the way of the anti-air fire. Let's get you out of here so we're not taking any hits, and let's keep you in reserve to help out. So your aircraft can actually scout, which is nice, but in addition to that, they're actually useful for, like, um, spotting stuff. They're useful for taking air or anti-air fire from other ships, so that, that way you can bring your torpedo bombers in to do actual stuff, etc., etc. So what we want to do, though, is bring him in like that, bring him in like that. So now I'm creating like a triangle of torpedoes that are going to come in on this guy. And I'll just have my fighters right here to just interdict with um, what you want to call it. Oh, it's going to suck for that guy. All right, so they're going to return home automatically. You do have limited amounts. Oh, this is going to hurt this guy a lot. So you do have limited amounts of um, aircraft that you can use. Oh man, look at that. That was nasty. That was amazing. Holy crap. I've never done that well before. Oh, that was beautiful. I just wrecked all those ships' days. That's how you need to really come into people, by the way. Is you need to really just send... You need to create like a uh, triangle like that so that, that way they're forced to take hits. That there's like no way around it. That was actually beautiful. So we'll send our... Um, other aircraft back here. They don't have any aircraft, do they? They do not. So that actually works out great for me. I can use my fighters as kind of like scouts to just kind of spot stuff and keep it spotted. So that'll work out great. And then I can, you know, uh, then send out my torpedoes as needed. So as you saw there, I kind of came in from different angles so that it forced him to more or less have no option with which to come out. He was forced into a uh, eating my torpedo bombers no matter what he did. There was no way around it. He just had to take it. There's nothing he could do, etc., etc. So as I was saying, you're actually limited to the amount of uh, planes you do have because you'll run out eventually and they'll be dead. So you don't want to go ahead and throw your planes away. You do absolutely need them. They are pretty much essential to have in the air at all times. And again, losing them means they're just outright dead and useless. So don't lose them ever. They're super useful, super needed. All right, so we actually have problems here and here that we need to take care of that I might not be able to do anything about. We'll see, though. I'll get my torpedo bombers up here momentarily. What I should do, though, is bring my uh, fighters back down here to almost act as scouts. All right, so that guy's kind of stuck, was stuck there. All right, so let's send up my bombers here. And then we'll send up these bombers here. And again, what we'll try and do is try and get this uh, this one ship trapped. This is actually going to take some work to trap this guy. Because destroyers can easily outmaneuver me really easily. So what I need to do is, again, create like a uh, triangle. So we'll send, we'll send you there, you here. And when they get in the area, we will do what we can. Alright, so you can't do anything. Alright, so what's going to happen here? Alright, what is left? They have two cruisers. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll wait for them to make these turns. So we'll do this. And then as he starts to turn... Actually, he's, he's not. Okay, go. Okay. Back off, back off, back off. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. So what we'll do is actually we'll come after this guy. Ah, oh, he already dropped. Okay. So we are limited now. There is this guy right here. I'm not too worried about him. So we'll see about dropping in on this guy. Well, actually, you know what? This guy might be easier to drop in on. So we will actually come right like this and force him to have no option but to take these torpedoes, especially with me dropping them right like this. Come on, drop him. Did you drop him? Come on. What did you do? You didn't drop him, did you? No, they did not. Okay. That's good to know. So I will actually get back out this way. Wait for him to start to turn. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's circle back out. They're not loaded yet. All right, so what we can do now is commit this attack. 
This should be able to do this. He's actually turning right at me, so that he's going to be able to dodge these torpedoes pretty easily. Not a problem, but he's going to have a lot of other people coming right at him. Alright, so I'm actually taking some hits at the moment from this guy. Oh, I did hit him. Hey, I didn't think I was going to hit him. That's just that much better. Okay. Where are my torpedo bombers? Four is nowhere to be found. I'm going to eat one or two of these torpedoes. Ooh, I dodged them. Did they not? They didn't return to base. Okay. So that was my bad. Because of that, I'm actually screwed myself up. Because I no longer have uh, the extra torpedo bombers I need to assist me. Now I'm going to get probably wrecked by this destroyer. Unless he comes in real close. Alright, so we want to... Alright, let's go back to one. We actually want to turn right at him at this rate. Because he's going to launch torpedoes against me. So we want to turn right at him. Which I might, might get lucky and only eat... Oh, wow, we capped out. Woo! Alright, so you can see right there how, um how carriers work they are interesting they're really interesting and fun it's just it really is a different type of play i didn't think i was going to do that many torpedoes to be quite honest with you i was wow yep again did not expect i was going to do that many torpedoes all right so we'll back out to one more battle and probably wrap it up there all right so going to something completely opposite here we're swapping to a battleship of all things i mean i think i showed that in the last episode but yeah, I decided to go with the battleship to accompany the carrier that I just did. Kind of show this thing off. Now this is a little bit longer range than the battleship I was playing at Tier 3. This thing is a little bit better in terms of being able to do stuff. I'm going against a bunch of Tier 4s and 5s. Oh, Jesus, we're outnumbered. Alright, so we're actually going to switch to AP because of that simple fact. Now, in the live stream I was doing on Saturday night, I want to say, I was able to actually like heal this thing up like three or four different times the maximum amount of times you can heal it and boy did it save me quite a bunch when doing so so that's one thing you need to be cognizant of when you're playing against the battleship is they can heal and it makes a huge difference when they heal so you don't want to go mix it up with them if you're uh... if they're starting to run away because you'll see them start to heal it'll not end very well for you etc etc so let's get going with this thing it operates super slow this one's partially upgraded it's not fully upgraded I still have cannons that I can upgrade to, so hopefully with a victory here I'll be able to upgrade to cannons and do some pretty cool stuff. Now someone just threw random shells this way. That wasn't very effective of you. Alright, so that's where a lot of their battleships and everything are heading. So I'll head out like this. What we'll do is we will... We'll just go like that, just one. Just to get me out here and get me going where I need to be. Now let's see here, no one's in range yet, but they're about to be. Alright, so let us do that. It's a heck of a long shot, but why not? It's not like I can get anywhere closer to do anything otherwise. Oh, and it was actually relatively close to be honest with you. Alright, so we'll just keep going. Yeah, battleships are one of those weird things where it's like you do want to get close so your secondary guns can start to fire because they're super useful if you can get them to actually hit so it's one of those uh, kinda like a catch-22 where you definitely want to get close so that way you can actually hit these people but you don't want to get too close so that the destroyers can just rock your socks all day long you really wanna oh all around them it really does take a lot of getting used to a lot of planning out so we do want to go and assist our team we want to get we don't want to mix it up just yet I think we definitely want to be a little bit further away from this nightmare. Let's see if we can hit this battleship though. Uh, I still have five seconds. Alright, here goes nothing. Shall we? Come on, hit him. Oh, I did! Not much in the way of damage, but I still hit him. And there we go. Just light damage. I'll take it. Alright, so we still have quite a few seconds. We're going to start turning away from everything, even though I technically don't want to turn away from everything. And we're on fire. Fantastic. We'll put that out real quick. Alright, so we'll try and bombard you. I don't think any of this is going to hit. Nope. Not even remotely close. That's the one problem I find with battleships, is I'm stuck 
so far away being able to uh, actually utilize and take advantage of the fact that I have, you know, these gigantic guns and everything. Because they're just so slow to reload. And that's the part where I think I do want to be a lot closer. It's just the problem of getting close to actually hit them without, you know, kind of wanting to skirt away. So it's it's kind of rough to figure out. Kind of difficult to uh, to really figure, to get the timing, the range, and everything else down. It's just one of these days I'll actually figure it out. Just in the meantime, I'm still working on it. Alright, so any of these going to hit him? Maybe? Well, I did. I don't think I did any damage to him, but I still hit him. Alright, so we're going to circle back around and head back to the cap. But yeah, I don't know. Battleships are kind of rough. I have yet to really, truly figure it out. But we will, I'm sure. Won't be immediate, but we'll figure some some way out to make it useful. They're not just they're just not optimal to me yet. That's all. I will make them work one day. Just take a little bit of time. Now what I do need to do is get close, obviously, because they're starting to cap. We sent too much stuff over to the behind side of that island, and that's actually going to hurt us a lot. Because I need to get up here. I need to start basically waylaying um, whoever is capping with my secondary guns here. Actually, might want to switch to AP, or HE, rather. Now, we're at that tier where we definitely want to be using uh, the AP instead of the HE, just for the simple fact of, well, you need to do the damage, and you're not going to pin and do any damage otherwise. All right, so do we want to waste 30 seconds on reload? No. We definitely want to head this way. They're going to probably cap it out before I actually even get there. That's the sad part. And I'm the only one here, and I can't spot. So that means it's a destroyer, which means I'm probably not even going to hit him. Gosh darn it. Um, I'd love to know where he's at. I mean, I'm right here and I can't even see him. So he's going to win this one out because, uh... Oh yeah, he's smoking. That's why. Alright, well, is what it is. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there for the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of World of Warships. Please check it out at warships or worldofwarships.com and sign up for the beta there. And anyway, catch me on my live streams at uh, twitch.com or twitch.tv slash darkling. I do those a lot because I kind of am digging this game. Anyway, thanks everybody and I will catch you in the next episode where we hopefully are a little more eventful here in terms of our, uh, in terms of our battleship. Alright guys, I'll catch you all later.